Do you have another tool that you can use to, to measure the density of the tissue? Right, that's what you've heard lots and lots about the pound full of units. Do you use that commonly? Every day on almost every scan. We, we heard Hounsfield units don't matter. I kind of wish the technology wasn't going so fast, but just like your phones and laptops, and CT scanners, you know, each slice is less than a millimeter now, so we're finding all these little tiny, tiny things. So constantly and all day, I've got to make sure that we're not missing something, so I'll be measuring Hounsfield units in thyroid cysts, liver cysts, kidney cysts, prostate cysts, splenic cysts. It's, it's, it's how I spend my day. Can you do that now? Sure. Where do you want to measure? Um, well, let's go to 47 and measure that. Um, not okay. So, and again, that was perfect. Um, he's going to introduce a concept called a Hounsfield unit. It's a measure of radio density, so how dense something is on a scan. So the thought being if you're uh, liquid, like what might be an assist, you'll have a very low density, a low Hounsfeld unit. If you're a solid mass, like a tumor, you're much more likely to have a high number, a high Hounsfeld unit. And you'll hear him use 15 or 20 as a, as a cutoff, anything above being, being more solid. So... He's explained it, though, in a very simple way. Hey, I use it every single day. I've got to know. I'm a conscientious radiologist. So again, just something that if you were going through that with him on prep, you'd give a little accolade and say, hey, let, let's, let's be sure to use that. It's a great way of sort of explaining that you're conscientious while also taking us through your daily practice and how important uh, Hounsfield units are.